when I walked in that door, I thought it was really big. Uh, I was impressed by the lobby and all the class, and you know, I liked it. It was cool. I, I, I realized that I was into something big at that moment, and it was going to be an exciting summer. My name's Ethan Edema, and my position here is on the data management team. I'm Morgan Smith, and I'm in the HR customer service department for this summer. Gabriella Ficini, and I am a marketing summer intern. I was at a mock career fair for the org that I'm on eBoard of, which is the Women in Business Students Association. And I met someone named Ben there, and we were just chatting, like I wasn't even trying to like intern with him or anything, interview, we were just kind of talking. And then later on he called me and told me that he would think I would be a great fit and that I should interview. I knew that they offered opportunities for sophomores, which was really good for me. So I researched them a little more beforehand and found out that they did offer an HR internship. So once I went to the career fair, I specifically asked them about that. Um, and then once I went to my second round interview in Omaha, I just fell in love with the company culture, the city itself, and the opportunities that they had there. And going back to last summer, my good friend Jake, who also studies computer science, had this internship and um, I talked to him about it and he had really enjoyed it and was thinking about coming back himself as well. And so when MSU had the career fair at the Breslin, I looked into UP there and I actually talked to the, the same guy that he had talked with and so we sort of made a connection there and we hit things off pretty well and so that's what brought me back here was hearing about the good experiences that he had and all that UP has to offer. When I first accepted my internship earlier this year, I was a little nervous about moving to Nebraska, but I was super excited about what the summer would hold. Union Pacific made the transition from Michigan to Nebraska super easy for us. It's really like living in an apartment. You have three other roommates. Mine happen to all be from Michigan, so that's nice. And the dorm itself is brand new, really clean, and you get to be surrounded by all other interns, which makes it really nice. You could draw some parallels between coming here for the summer and entering as a freshman at the university. I was going in blind as far as roommates. I didn't know who I was going to be living with, how other interns, how they were going to be. That, that transition was kind of neat. I wasn't really so much worried about it, but I was just anxious for it all to happen and to be settled in. When I first got here, I had no prior knowledge of who my roommates would be, but everyone ended up being really cool and we all get along together. I was nervous for my first day, however it turned out to not be so bad. The first half of it was orientation, and then they provided us lunch, and then we met with our supervisors. When I met with my supervisor, we talked briefly about the projects that we'd be working on this summer, and I also had a chance to meet my other teammates. So I started work on Monday, which was June 2nd, and I wasn't too nervous going into it. I had been to the building um, before for my second round interviews, so I kind of knew the lay of the land. And I also received an agenda for our orientation day about a week prior to my start date. So I kind of knew what was going to go on during the day, and I'd say I was more nervous to meet my supervisors and my peers than I was to actually, you know, be in orientation for the entire day. I wasn't expecting it to be as beautiful as it is because if you think Omaha, Nebraska, I've never been here before so the first thing I think is like farms, cornfields, that kind of normal stuff that everybody would think. But I thought it was really cool how it's like a big city but it still has kind of a suburban feel. Everybody's pretty laid back so that was one thing I really made an impression on me that I really liked. I guess I just didn't expect how tired I would be after work and how heavy of a load it was going to be right away. So coming to work, getting here at 7 a.m. and leaving at 4.30 was a big challenge for me initially. I was really tired after work and it was hard for me to focus on other homework that I had to do and complete after work. So that was a big transition, but after you know the first or second week, it really became easy for me and something I kind of just got used to. I think we were just kind of naturally drawn to each other because we had that Spartan connection and that the background where we could talk about things and then, then once you find out that you have mutual friends in common then you talk about them and then uh, it just kind of grows from there and everyone that I've ever met from MSU is extremely nice and so it's just been nice mm -hmm. to get to know them. And living with the other interns makes it a lot easier too because you're all going through the same experience. Um, UP shuttles us to and from work so that kind of helps, like, I know Morgan's alarm will go off for an hour before she hears it. So, like, little things like that, like, I'll just walk over and be like, hey, get up. <laughs> so it makes it a lot easier just to know, I guess.